Hi everyone, I am here with my Nightmare Before Christmas uh, series and for this one I am going to be doing a Project Life card using the Mama Elephant Stamp Set Bootastic which I love. It is so stinking cute. I love it. So here I am just going to be drawing some stars with, and it's a 4x6 card um, with my Versamark marker and I'm just gonna draw some stars on there and then I cut out a whole bunch of the videos so you're just gonna see where I'm actually putting the white powder on to emboss them. And you see, I tried to do only three and then I ended up deciding to do the whole card. And I really love the Versamark marker but it's kind of a pain because it feels like it's gonna dry too fast, um, but that's just me. So here I'm just gonna clean off my little desk area and here I'm actually um, embossing with my heat tool. And I don't know if I've done a Project Life card yet for this series. I know I did one for the July series that I had, so I thought that I would go ahead and do a Project Life card. And it's really simple. It was a really simple quick card. The thing that probably took the longest was the coloring of the little images, and those actually did not take that long at all because I used my Prisma colored pencils and they colored up really fine. And so here I'm just going to try to figure out where I'm gonna put everything. And I took a little um, graveyard uh, cutout from a piece of paper, I just fussy cut it out and I stuck it on there because I thought it would look really cute. And then here I'm just sticking on my little witch, which, oh my gosh, she's so adorable. I, I love, love, love this little witch. She's so stinking cute. And I'm going to put that little pumpkin pail in her hand. And what I did was I stamped the pumpkin pail using the um, Stampin' Up! Orange. And then I went around it with the black, with my black American Crafts marker to kind of fine detail it. And I really love the way it looks. And on his little bucket, I ended up just writing out the word boo because it's blank. So you can really do, you know, what you want on it. And so I just ended up coloring it green and then putting the boo on there. I love the little mummy. He's so cute. And here I'm just going to cut out his little pail, which I ended up drawing a little pumpkin on it. And I'm cutting it out. I don't know why it takes so long sometimes. I try to fast forward as much as possible so you can still see what I'm doing and it not be a blur of hands. But it still to me feels too slow. <laughs> So here I'm just going to put Frankenstein, I believe, on and I'm just cutting a slit in his hand so I can kind of stick that pumpkin in there, but I decided to put it on the other side. See, I thought maybe I can move him around and I end up sticking him back because he was then going to cover up the tombstone and I wanted that tombstone to kind of show. So that is my card so far and then I am going to get my one inch circle punch I punch out a yellow circle and then I am going to be going around the edge with my Heidi Swap coral color and it's like an orangey color so I just go around the edge to kind of make it pop a little bit and I stick it onto the top left of the card And then I had bought this punch at, in a D stash last year from Nurse Laurel. And so I ended up punching out a little witch. And I love it because it's the perfect size for like a moon card. Or a moon card for a moon for like a one inch circle punch. So I just stick it on there. And then um, this is a stamp set that I used. I hadn't even showed it. And so then I'm just going to get a journaling card from my stash. And I'm going to stamp the all tricks, no treats, um, just kidding, happy Halloween, I believe, or something, it says something like that, sentiment on there. And then I'm just going to um, cut off all the excess. And that's basically my four by six project life card. So thank you all so much for watching. I've really appreciated it. To all my new subbies, I appreciate your support a bunch. To all my older subbies, Thank you for sticking with me, guys. You don't know how much y'all meant to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.